right. when you have like an x plus three, you'll have a binomial situation. Okay. Can it be x minus three? X minus three, whatever. As long as it's just a binomial, one's x, one's number. Okay. Doesn't work in any other case. Now, initially, you might be thinking, well, then why do this? It's just one small case. But keep in mind, we're going to try to factor this down to binomials so we can solve for the zeros. Are that's what our goal is going to be down the road, right? So with that in mind, we're primarily going to be looking at binomials. So having a quick way to do it, especially when we're going to guess and check, is worthwhile. Does that make sense? Okay, Helen says yes, so we're going to move on. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to do the exact same problem. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to do something called static division, which you've seen before. Uh, the way you do it, it's, uh, it's, what is it, x to the third plus 4x squared minus 3x minus 5 with me divided by x plus 3. Okay, here's the process, and then we'll explain the process, and then we'll show it to you one more time to make sure you know what's going on. We're going to put a negative 3 right over here. With me so far, why negative 3? Because x plus 3. We're actually going to be using the remainder theorem. We're going to be plugging in negative 3 and seeing what we get. And using what we get to get the next item. Okay, because the process over here is we divide by x plus 3. When we divide by x plus 3, your remainder is going to be this piece here, right? And so we are going to actively do that. So to actively do that, instead of using x plus 3, we're going to use negative 3 because you use the remainder theorem. Does that make sense? Sort of. Okay, let's do that. And then I'm just going to, I don't want to write all the x's because I'm lazy. That's the only reason I'm not going to write x's. We're going to write down a 1, a 4, a 3, and a negative 5. So far, so good? And again, the x's should be there, but I'm lazy, so I don't want to do it. I was looking at the wrong board, so I'm going to wait a moment. Yes, yeah. sir? Should the 3 be negative? <laughs> The three. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Okay, good. My bad. All right. Um, other thing. If there is a gap, I need a spacer, just like normal math, right? You still have to have the spacer to have the zero. Does that make sense? Okay. The rest is a bunch of zigzags. I'm gonna put a line down here. I'm gonna go pull this straight down. I get one. One times negative three is negative three. Negative three. Yeah, down. That's right. And I multiply by three. negative three, yeah. and, and I get. Now I go down again, right? You get one. 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 Six. Multiply by negative three again, and I get negative three. <laughs> negative six. Negative six. No. Oh, whoa. Like, like whoa. You're right. We were both doing the same thing. I skipped my head, or you weren't doing the same. So I raise down, I get negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 3 is? 18. 18. Okay. This gives me 13. Now, first things first, did this give me the right answer? Answer, yes. How do I know that? It's over there. I look over there. We did the problem before. This is The last thing is always going to be remainder. By the way, if it's 0, that means you have a factor. That's going to be an important one. It's not a zero. I'm simply going to write this as 13 over x plus 3. And then I'll work my way backwards. Next thing over would be a number, a normal number, right? So that's negative 6. Next thing over would be 1x, right? And the next one over would be 1x squared. Does that look familiar? Does that look familiar? It's the same answer. So it's a quicker way to divide just using this cute little method. And because we're going to do this hundreds of times in the next two weeks, having a quick way to do it's a good thing. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> now again, some some restrictions on this. It has to be a binomial. If I give you x squared plus three to divide out, what do you have to do? You have to go this way, right? You have no option. You can't use the division at all. It just won't work. Okay? Why does it work? Why does it work? Jennings probably did the whole thing for us. Why does it work? <laughs> um, Where do these numbers come from? From the equation. 
when we brought, we bring the one down, we bring the one down, okay? We're asking the question, what times x cubed gives us x cubed? The same thing we did here. And we chose what number in front of this? We chose a one, didn't we? Why is it a one? Because if this is a one, which it always will be, because it's, we're going to use it for only for binomials with x plus whatever in front of it, then one, these have to match, right? So whatever this number is, it's going to be that number there. That's why we brought it down. Where did the negative 3 come from? When we multiply 1 times 3, and then we subtract it, 1 times 3, subtract to be negative 3, that's how we develop the next number, right? Same thing there. So we're doing the exact same thing, but we're just doing it super lazy with the assumption that we're only going to have an x sitting right here with no number in front. Okay? If there's just an x plus or minus another number, then this works every time, and it's worth doing. Okay? How long did I do good? You ready to move on? All right, try the first, very first problem, synthetic division. Go! I had a terrible day for like half three quarters of that. This is going to be great. On Tuesday, I was going to go, ha ha! Number one, I would go negative five. I've got three, four, negative 12. All right, Mary Dana. Put down the three first. Negative 11. Make sense? 11 times 43. So what's my answer? If I take 3x squared plus 4x minus 12 and divide by x plus 5. What's my answer? This is cute little gibberish, but what's my answer? It would be um, 3x squared. Just 3x. We're going to lose a power because we're dividing by an x, right? Okay. But worst case, you can work backwards. Thank you, sir. Minus 11 plus 43 over x plus 5. Wait, what? I do 3x minus 11. Because we know this is going to be remainder. It's the last thing, right? It's yeah. remainder. So I write that as remainder. Next thing over is going to be the one without the x. The one before that is going to be the one with the x. And is there's another one as an x squared? Well, it would be yes. In this case, we didn't get one. Okay. So oh, we start with x squared. I mean, the other way to look at it is that powers are going to down by 1 because we're dividing an x by x to the second power divided by x. So we're going to end up with just an x. We're not. To the starting point. Got it? Very done and good? All right.